Once, a long time ago, the Vans and the Gods were at war. At the end of the war, the Vans and the Gods wanted to create the wisest of all men. Let's make the wisest of all men and name him Kavasser. Hi, I'm the wisest of all men and my name is Kavasser. Kavasser was loved very much by all the gods. Unfortunately, Kavasser trusted everyone, even if he did not know them. One day, he was taken by two dwarves, Galar and Fajalar, who killed Kavasser with a mighty blow to the head. They took his blood and mixed it with honey, brewing it into a special mead. Some time had passed since the gods had seen Kavasser, and they had grown worried. Odin went to find out what happened. Galar and Fajalar, do you know of Kavasser's whereabouts? Kavasser had choked on his own wisdom. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. Odin did not believe their story. So he took the form of a mighty eagle and launched his investigation. He met two birds that told him that they had seen everything that of Kavasser's death and where to find the mead. Dun dun dun. Odin knew of the giant Sudding and he knew that getting the mead from him would be very difficult as Sudding is both very powerful and very clever. Sudding had a basement that was 36 feet underground and made up of 12 foot thick stone walls, ceilings, and floors. If that weren't enough, Sudding had placed his very own daughter, Gunglad, who was guarding the mead in the basement. Let's just say it was very heavily fortified. So, this was no easy task for Odin. Odin had to think long and hard to come up with a plan that could work. How am I going to get in there? Hmm. Odin traveled to the farm of Bog, Sudding's brother. Odin saw nine farmers working the fields of Bog. Odin disguised himself as a human and approached the men and offered to sharpen their tools. May I sharpen your tools for you? We of really course, need it. Yes, yes, please, please help us. So, so kind much. Of you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank yes. The farmers, without hesitation, agreed to let Odin lighten their jobs. In two fluid motions, Odin had grabbed their tools and ran his sharpening stone across them. When he was done, the tools were so sharp that they would cut through anything. The men asked Odin if they could buy his sharpening stone. Please, can we please buy the sharpening stone? It would help us so much, please. I'll give you 100. I'll give you 200. No, 300. Ah. To which Odin said, How about you fight for it? Then... Odin flung the stone into the air. Fight for the stone, the men did. And with their freshly sharpened tools, they quickly killed each other. Odin, still in disguise, then went to the house of Bog, where he asked if he might be able to sleep for the night. Sir, great magnificent Bog, may I please sleep in your house tonight? Bog being a great and generous giant, said yes. Yes, of course. And he even offered him dinner. Would you like some dinner? Over dinner, Bog mentioned his misfortune of losing all his farmers. Odin looked concerned, and he offered to be his new farmer. I'll be your new farmer for you. Bog was in no position to refuse help, 
as without any laborers, he would never be able to harvest his crops. H how much will you need for pay? A sip of your brother's mead. Whoa, that is up to my brother. But if you're willing to work for such a chance, I won't stop you. Odin agreed, and the two shook hands. Odin alone did the work of nine men, and brought the harvest in ahead of schedule. Bog was very impressed with Odin. So, is it time for my payment? Yes, of course. Let's go to my brother's setting. The two of them set out for Bog's brother's home. Bog told Sutting of his deal with the amazing human farmer and how he had brought the crops all by himself. After hearing Bog's story, Sutting looked at his brother with disappointment. My possessions are not your bargaining chips to pass out for your trade. The answer is no. He may not have any of my mead. Now leave my home at once. As Odin and Bog walked across Sutting's yard, Odin said, A deal is a deal, and if you are a giant of your word, you shall try to keep it. Odin pulled out a large hand drill from his cloak and told Bog to drill down into Sutting's basement. So Bog began to drill. Once he had passed the thick wall of Sutting's basement, he had turned to tell Odin. But Odin was nowhere to be seen, as he had turned into a worm. Bog, believing that the human had given up, shrugged his shoulders and went home. Odin, in worm form, crawled down through the hole into the basement. When he was inside, Odin saw the most beautiful giant he had ever laid eyes on. He quickly transformed into a very handsome man. He asked the giant if she would like to share a drink of the mead with him. Would you like to share a drink of the mead with me? Yes, of course! I would gladly drink the mead with you! She said yes to the offer. Odin hoisted the mead up to his mouth and accidentally drank it all. He drank it all because he was so focused on her beauty. Before she could say a word, Odin transformed into a mighty eagle and flew away back to Asgard. And that is how Odin brought the mead to Asgard. Thank you.